Nope. 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 Yellow lights just come on. Happy New Year, Thomas. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year Tom. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, what the fuck is this gun doing? <laughs> Happy New Year, Mr. Wu. Did the subtitles at one point say Uncle Cunty? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure it said Uncle Cunty. I don't know. Um, Uncle Auntie, not Uncle Cunty. It's just, just, just a Happy New Year celebration for you, Tom. Yeah. Sure. How are you sure. enjoying the holiday, Tom? Three yeah, weeks later. Four weeks. <laughs> not bad. It's not bad. This appears to be the best content on Vape Talk ever. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mark Turvey. Actually, I had a revelation. Right, as you can see, there's no Dolan at the moment, or Dolan, or however you want to pronounce his name. He's going to be like... Uh, but I had a revelation on the way home, and I was, I was singing along to a song, and it, it's it's evident I've got, I've got oh, uh, you know, a lower voice. And I thought, what if I talk like that? Because I'm a little bit squeaky. And... Uh, what do you reckon if I talk like this all the time? Because it's not its not an effort to talk like this. You sound stoned. Uh, well, that's your opinion. Actually, no, it doesn't work, does it? It's, no. it's not. No. You'll break it too easily, mate. You won't be able to hold that together. I can't help it, can I? <laughs> I just want to play that video. You can keep playing that video. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good chain. I like it. Yeah. I actually recognised one word in there as well. The little girl, the little boys, or oh, the little girl said "may may" at one point. That from watching Firefly, I know that that means little sister. What? Uh, <laughs> what? What year is it this year, Thomas? You should know. Year of the dragon. No, it's a rooster, isn't it? <laughs> it's year of the fat cunt. Now piss off. <laughs> 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 I'm actually, um, in honour of the Chinese New Year celebrations, I'm actually only vaping Chinese mods today as well. <laughs> but we'll get to that in what you're vaping on. What are you vaping on? What am I vaping on? Um, well, from Shenzhen province, northern China, the uh, Inokin Chroma, which is becoming a fast favourite. Still can't put it down. Love it. Um, and in that, oh, I've got... Oh, well, 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 you just put it down. <sighs> Shut up. Right, no, since you said that, you have to hold that in your hand no, for the whole show. No, I'm not doing it. You're not, you're not the boss of me. I am, kind of. You're not my Sifu. Uh, yeah, um, can you stop interrupting me, please? No. <laughs> I've got um, Moo Liquid Strawberry Milk in there. Nice. Nice juice. Very Equal, nice juice. Equally as good as your focus. <clears throat> and then from um, Birmingham, Central Western China, I've got the Endless Clean. <laughs> <clears throat> the tan coat with the silver switch. Uh, just put a two pound silver plated spring in there today. The slam cap and the Sorry. version two four post deck, which I'm um, building on in a very special way that um, Mr. Thomas Wu has taught me using Google Translate. <laughs> <laughs> um, and in that. I've got the most fucking steeped bottle of TYV custard donut you've ever seen in your life. Look at that. Look at the fucking state of it. Well, you talk as if it's a bad thing. If that was any more steeped, you'd need a fucking lift to get up it. <laughs> Look at it. I'll do it. That's me. Oh. Right? Loving life. I'm in fucking vape heaven. Nice. Well, I'll go through mine and then we'll go through uh, the, the, the fat man himself, lovely Big Thomas. 
Have we got uh, an interpreter in for him? No, we'll have to uh, do the uh, thing. Subtitles? Ni hao, motherfucker. Subtitles. That's it, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's I, I I got I got sort of bemused by uh, the comment that Sean put about your Dizzy Rascal remix and okay. uh, yeah we were just doing that just before the show yeah we were actually doing that in the hangouts before the show yeah I wish I recorded it but I stopped recording because Chuck got a bit boring um rig v two nice not much more to say about that apart from it's a rig v two not the v three the uh the, the the better version of the v three um I would say and. <laughs> Funnily enough, I sold, right, do you, you guys know I broke down in my Beamer? No. You don't know that story, right, between Christmas and New Year, yeah, I was driving home from work, and I kind of ran out of oil, right? I don't know how it happened, it just, just happened. There was an oil leak, and it's dropping about two litres every week, uh, every month, sorry. And um, I knew I had to fill it up, and I went into work early, and Halfers was shut, so I couldn't get oil, so I went to get on the way home, and <laughs> the engine sort of seized on the way home. Uh, so I managed to pull over, get some oil in it, and managed to drive it. Anyway, I sold it. Um, so I it for it no, no, I sold it for hundred quid to some Polish dudes that exported to Poland and then fucking make loads of money off parts. Uh, so I sold that, but when I was cleaning it out, I found this, which was from Jam last year. Um, <laughs> just sat in the car. But yeah, you think yours is steeped? <laughs> Well, shit. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, and it's the Sugar Baron. Um, fug, fung, fug. Yeah, Fug Life. The Fug Life ones. You remember those? And it's it's a it's a sweet popcorn. But it's it's actually I've just dripped it just now, and it's all right. Tastes like popcorn. Anyway, moving swiftly on on the sky hook hook or the. Sky uh, the the hog, what? The skirting board ladder. Skirting board ladder. Tartan paint. The, the tartan paint mod by Smock. Um, I put a new build in it. I just put a straight forward, straight count full, a few wraps either side, uh, coming at 0.35. And it's actually dramatically improved my battery life. And I'm only vaping it at 60 watts. 60 watts! It's, uh, you watts, you watts. Yeah, you watts, you watts. Squonk, 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 squonk. Yeah, so I've got that, and I do have, I don't know if I showed it last week, the, the V2 version of the Squonker, but we're waiting for Rick Grow's uh, new 510s to come in to actually launch that, but that's, uh, yeah. No valve in that, is there? No, no. It's one of, those, one of those mods that's strictly consonants only, isn't it? Yeah, one of those ones. Um, There's a few of them about these days. Yeah, well, you know, I thought about it. It's, uh, it's hey, ideal. Like valves, mate, it's fine. Yeah, so all that's happened is we moved the 510 slightly over and added sort of a, 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 a plate to stop the copper hitting the bottle and moving the bottle slightly. Um, so yeah, that's on the way. And we're also doing a V2 version of the series box, which is coming along nicely. Uh, nice. So, yeah. Where's... Rick, Sorry? Series. Your huh? series get released in the end? Yes, it version, did, yeah. Version one, yeah. Version one, but we're doing a version two. Thicker walls, um, much like the Squonker, it's actually going to, it's just going to be sort of four mil thick walls and, and stuff. And we're actually looking at, um, I found out what material the Frankie's made in. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're kind of looking at maybe potentially using that sort of material because it's, it's quite uh, nice. alumide, isn't it? Yeah, alumide, yeah. But you can't print it on a regular 3D printer. Oh, can you not? What, is it, does it need too much heat? No, it's because the uh, alum aluminium particles will actually wear on the nozzle eventually. Oh. Fuck it up. Yeah, I don't like yeah. it when things wear on my nozzle. Yeah. Well, <laughs> lucky you ain't got no one to wear on it. <laughs> Wanker. Oh, Bless. Rick's pros. Bye, Rick. That was good. Fucking hell, look at him. Look how he's, look how he's from. <laughs> <laughs> Back, we're all right. I got frozen then. I was like, what, what's going on? You got frozen with the best look on your face as well. What, what was it? Shame it. It was just like... Yeah, I was thinking. I was going, oh, did that freeze? I don't know. It's yeah. one of those things, isn't it? Your face can look quite natural and relaxed and normal. And then as soon as you freeze frame it, you suddenly just turn into like... 
Yeah, well, now you know what. Like, I wasn't pulling that face. What's going on? Yeah, I don't know. Some people have that face permanently, don't they, Tom? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and on that, on that, <laughs> I'm actually making use, and this was an expo pickup, was uh, the Ocean 9. Nice. So I'm actually making use of that. And do you know what? When I first baked it, I didn't like it at all. Um, and That's now. Really and now in the uh, in the in the sky ladder, whatever you want to fucking call it, the uh, the alien with a tank on top, um, it's all right. The what juice is that? Again? Sorry, what juice is that again? Sorry, mate. The Ocean Line Miami Drip Club. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I tell you what, this guy, I've not had a dry hit yet. So yeah. Ocean Line. Isn't alumide conductive? Um, no. Don't know. Don't know. Don't fucking care, mate. Do what I like. Yeah, don't care. Do what I like. Yeah, blow me proud of my mind, mate. Build a mod out of you in a minute. <laughs> I tell you what is conductive is if you put um, two batteries in the wrong way in series, if it's a parallel box. That's quite conductive. Yeah, yeah, that, that yeah. tends to do some it. Yeah. yeah, there's mind. only special people like that on the map of fucking idiot, isn't there? <laughs> Not many vapors silly enough to do that. Oh, uh, well, you know. Ooh, at least someone has a sense to lob it. <clears throat> Classic Reeves, that, innit? Oh, it's terrible. Terrible. Never mind. <laughs> Fat Tom, what are you vaping on? I'm currently vaping on the Endless 25mm Cleaner. Single eight and six fifty rather than the stacked. You're um, holding that rather close to your camera because I uh, for a minute there I thought it was a twenty six six fifty. Now there you go. Twenty it's twenty five mm. Um I actually got a custom tip on there, I don't know who that's by, but it's absolutely lovely. I think it's the HD if I'm honest. Um and I'm vaping on some honey buns again. Nice. How's your buns doing? You got through them yet? We've got that much fucking left. Coil glaze honey buns. Yeah. Smashing it, fat Tom. Watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Is it? Is it got? Has it got the typical honey taste, like the uh, or, or the after smell, like cat's piss? It, it hasn't. It to me, it's sort of like um. It's gonna sound weird, but. I tried another juice next to it, and it tastes very, very similar to it, but it that was nothing like it should have been. It tastes not to me... Not like, bear one? No, it tastes like honey honey nut cornflakes to me. Sort of has that sort of... You know when you have corn, the honey cornflakes and the honey gets on your lips and you smack your lips together? That's what, sort of like the taste. It <laughs> <gives> <laughs> you. To make my lips don't do any smacking together. <laughs> <laughs> I could get behind that. I know what you're talking about, Tom. Mm. Oh, is that a lip smack? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you only have to do it once and it'll repeat 20 times. <laughs> Listen, I've got no lips. You've got rubber lips. Yeah, you. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I... <laughs> I would rather have lips, though, than no lips, to be fair. Oh, but I do want to show you something uh, this week, which I've had blown people's fucking minds, right? Is it your day? I showed you show... <laughs> show... <laughs> show... <laughs> this as well. <laughs> It's definitely How can someone that big have something so tiny? It's definitely not my penis. <laughs> right. okay. I was yeah. showing you this. So this is a 25 mil, right? Mm. The cap is a 25 mil. If I just take that off and I've got my 24 slum. <laughs> I'm just so waiting for this mind blow moment. And then put your 24. 24 How does the 24 and the 25 fit on the same fucking deck? Chinese measurements, tolerance. To be, fair, to be fair to him, you know, you know what, as much what? as I'd rather not suck his dick on the show, the O-ring tolerances on these fucking RDAs are insane. Look at that. I don't, I don't even need to hold the cap down. I think Man. I think the reason why it is is because you on the twenty on the twenty four you got a thicker wall, uh, thinner wall. Yeah, on yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, no mind's fucking blown here, Thomas. Well, you did not. You think that fucking stupid fun? <laughs> 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 Jesus you, Christ! You, you can't figure it out. Why is it doing that? <laughs> oh my God! Is that it? Oh. <laughs> you <laughs> you I don't know why it's doing it. <laughs> Listen, vape talk is about equal opportunities. Now stop it. 
Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. We give disabled people like you an equal opportunity to be on the show. <laughs> if I take this one off, and then I get this one, and I put that one off as well. And I put that on top, that doesn't fit. Guess how? <laughs> 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 fucking Tom. Jesus Christ, have you gone on Penn and Teller's fucking thing yet? <clears throat> the, the magician show, so they got to guess how you done it. I knew that'd make you a Google, Rick. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, Tom. Uh, James Clark in chat says, Tommy, get your tat out. Show us all your tat, mate. Do you say tat or tits? Get your tat out. Tommy Knockers. I've got my daughter tattooed on my leg. That's about it. I saw it. I saw it, actually. It's really, really good. Show us your tats. It's really good. <laughs> so, you know, waist down naked again, isn't he? Stand up and fucking bog. He's looking waist down naked again, isn't he? Get your tat out. It's very close to getting your rat out. Fucking hell, Tom. That's What's like a max for you. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we can't get it any higher. I'm not standing on the spot, Matt. He he's pulled a muscle now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling so naked on Tom. Just told you, you fucking bellend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vaping on a fucking hernia and oh, I'll lift up my bastard's leg. <laughs> Better when nice to see your feet again though, mate. Yeah, that's that's not, not pleasant. Really. Well, there's people out there that might have enjoyed that and I could have charged them for that, but I didn't. So you're, 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 you're a BBM, as they call it in the industry. A big exactly. beautiful man. Yeah, yoga with Tom. Tom, oh, mate, you got to do a yoga video. You have to. Got to do a yoga video. Yeah. Me and you, Rick, could earn quite a lot of money, mate, being squashers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i think we should get into that industry well you know we'll see we'll see which way the uh the vaping industry goes and then you know if need be give me a call <laughs> i'm on it <laughs> like a car just, just like a car well, what have you yeah. had for tea? That's all I want to know. Is what you had for tea oh, for tea. we're not doing that, are we? Well, I suppose I do my own show, so do what you're drinking. So let's do what you're having for tea. And if all three of us do it, all four of us do it, then um, then we won't be like infringing any copyright because it's only Craig that does this. Um, I have pizza and garlic bread. Nice. What pizza? Ch Tuesday night is pizza night, and it's uh, Dr. Oscar's uh, Polo. The, the pot is chicken, basically. Chicken, that is what it means. Yeah. yeah Microwave, uh, oven shit I ordered. Yeah, no fucking oven, mate. Good, come on. I know you're lazy, cunt, but, you know, it's not hard to stick a fucking pizza. I'm definitely oven. not a lazy cunt because I don't cook shit, so she's all good. And garlic, Thanks, bread. Bread. garlic bread as well. Times must yep. be hard. Rick is drinking out of a jar. No, Chris, no. Have you not heard of uh, uh, shabby, sheet retro, yeah. fucking vintage? Riyadh's uh, just trendy as fuck, mate. Yeah, fucking not that big a deal, but keep up with the trends. Mate, if you're in Bristol, fucking you can't you can't buy a drink not served in a jar in Bristol. <laughs> if, I was, if I was in Bristol, we'd just blend in, wouldn't I? Exactly. You're and all that. Here, that's well, Bristol, that. <laughs> you got my tratter. <laughs> Everywhere's got tratters. I don't know why Bristol's no, you're in Dorset. Yeah. Tom would make a fortune on chat about <laughs> Fucking damn right. Garlic bread. Yeah, garlic bread. Awesome had a three piece from KFC. Good lad. Yeah, three piece. Original recipe, KFC. Yeah, yeah. original oh, recipe. Oh, no. It's got to be fucking variety meal, mate. You need some of them hot wings. I'm a fillet tower burger kind of girl myself. A, a tower burger? What I like a fillet tower burger. At least put a zinger on it. No, the zinger doesn't taste that good, though. The fucking relish they put on it, shit. No, it's not. It's just because you're too puss puss to... Uh, to... <laughs> Mate, I'm fucking Indian. What are you talking about? Exactly. It doesn't mean you can handle spicy hash brown with relish. No, does it exactly yeah. does, mate. Yeah, yeah, puss puss. Com completely <laughs> different spices, you fucking puss puss. All right. Jesus. Oh, I'm a fucking puss puss then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, Mr. Bond. That is title 007, licensed to 2700. Well, for my tea tonight, I had a pasty that was about that big. That, that uh -huh. big. Okay. And what did the pasty say? 
<laughs> was it a ginger pasty? Sorry, no offense to ginger people. No. Um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a pasty shop in the Abbey Square in Bath, and um, at closing time, they go out and they ring a bell, and that bell means that all the pasties are £1.50 because they want to fuck them off so they can shut. So um, I just. £1.50 pasty, £1.50, £1.50 yep. pasty. £1.50 pasty. <laughs> So I happened to just be walking past when the one pound fifty pasties were ringing away, and they were like, "Come and have a look, one pound pasty." <laughs> and, um, <laughs> so I was lured in by that, and um, I, yeah, I just bought myself a massive pasty. Stood waiting for my bus, eating a massive pasty. Got <laughs> home, ate the action. Half. He turned that action. That was golden. I got, I got a bus, eating my pasty. Just eating my pasty. Nice. <laughs> It was a big pasty then. Actually, do you know, pasty came up today in conversation. I'd done like an hour and a half, two hour live stream because I was in the shop all alone, needed people to talk to. And um, <laughs> someone, I mentioned smokers that walking past outside and someone said, uh, don't you tell the smokers to move on? And I said, well, no, it's a public footpath. I have no right to do that. Like, oh, some vape shops tell smokers to move on. And my analogy, like, like, seriously, was you wouldn't ask someone eating a banana outside a pasty shop to move on, would you? I think whoever said that's fucking on a different planet to I'm on, because I wouldn't ask anybody to fucking move, because what do you know they're not going to dock it out and walk in? Well, it's, it's a... Yeah, exactly. And it's... Yeah, the, the, the smokers are the future vapors. I say, yeah, it was Charlotte. <laughs> Was it Charlotte? So when does vape talk start as this is shite? Well, Mr. James Clark, you fucking ginger dick. Um, <laughs> you can fuck off if you like. If you don't like it, just, just go. Just go. Hey, we've got nearly 2,000 subs. We can talk about what the fuck we like now. Yeah, we're a big deal. Yeah. 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 We've, got, we've got Riyadh. His name is a hashtag. Yeah. How famous fucking we are. Not being funny, as voted by the audience, uh, best host for the UK. Yeah. So. And Thomas Wu, he's fucking massive in China. He's pretty yeah. big over here as well, but he's fucking massive in China. Yeah. Big deal. No, massive. Exactly. Definitely, definitely not a big so deal. We'll talk about one, thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah. Talk about what the fuck we like. If you want to start up your own show, your oh, own oh, James, then that's fine. You carry on. <laughs> you <too. laughs> It's not a very good intro, though, is it? I had a sausage bean cheese melt with fucking hash browns. Oh, the G Regs. With fucking hash fucking browns. I'm a little bit annoyed. No, I'm a little bit annoyed. It's almost as if James thinks we're doing this for him. We're not. We're just getting it. We're having a conversation, you know. Ricky's not said anything else. Why are you still annoyed? I don't care. But, you know, you don't go into sex before the foreplay, do you? Well, <laughs> this, is, this is us gently licking your labia. Yeah, well, you know, what if I've had it chopped off? Yeah, yeah. Don't know why. No, let's carry on. <laughs> we're actually just trying to delay time for Dolan to get here. Yeah, we just want Dolan. He's, he's bought all the content this week. We've actually got nothing to talk about yeah. when he's yeah. All right. Well, I'm a swankers. Fuck it. Move it on. James said, move it on. Let's move it on. on. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm taking wireless wankers this week. Talking about this little cunt that I picked up. Thanks to um, <laughs> this little cunt. Nice. Thanks to Mr. Wu wow. and uh, Steve at Age of Steam. Age of Steam are now stocking them. So I thought I better fucking take one. Show support for my own shop and show support for Thomas and all that. Um, it's the Mac mod. It's fucking mech mod, isn't it? It's a 24 millimeter hybrid mech mod. Can you change um, the caps that... round? Sorry? What would happen if you change the caps round? Uh, the threading is not the same on the top and bottom, so you can't. Um, <laughs> it is. Oh you, oh, you were taking the piss out of top. Oh, yeah, I just went whoosh. Sorry, <laughs> man. Sorry, we were, we were ripping Tom again, and I fucking... Oh, I'm sorry, bird. I, I just sat here just thinking yeah. he didn't... Yeah, he hasn't got a clue. Tom, you're a knob. Yeah. Right, carry on. You missed um, the slow boat to China. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so, it's solid copper, silver-plated all on the inside, Cerakoted in England, I believe. Is that right, Tom? Cerakoted in England? That's right. On the outside. Um, you get your normal silver-plated brass hybrid disc. Silver plated brass? 
Yeah, just to let you know, the Cerakota is actually a, a firearms Cerakota, so it's actually done at the best quality. Why, why, don't, why don't you let Tom explain this? Because obviously you're asking him everything. No, no, I'm no, double no, checking. It's good. It's good. It, t it tests my knowledge it, to have Thomas here because Thomas obviously has to know everything about it. Uh, silver plated copper 510 pin on the RDA. And then uh, I've got the new version 2 deck, which is sort of like a Twisted Messes kind of deck. Um, so it's like the four in four post in line. But Thomas very cleverly showed me, if you're just using little fuse claptons or something, because the post holes are fucking massive, and they are, they're like four mil, um, you can just go through posts two and three, and you can sort of treat it like a two post, and you don't have to worry about centering your coils. So look how fucking centered those are. Nicely centered. <laughs> Again, that's not really a trick. That's just like... It's <laughs> Well, I wouldn't have thought of it if Tom hadn't have told me to. Just because it's got a load of holes, it's like a woman. Just because it's got a load of holes doesn't mean you have to use every single one. That, well, that's true. Um, or a man, for that matter. I don't, I don't know. It makes it feel bigger if you put it in the ear. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. yeah, James Clark has just pointed something out. Um, so it does have these fucking fatty bombati um, flathead screws, and if you're using the hourglass cap, these outside ones will actually touch. So you can all oh well, shady were as far as I'm aware giving people replacement grub screws. Um, so for anyone that was using the hourglass cap and um, this deck, you can get grub screws which will screw in flush and they won't touch the cap. See, I, there's so many pros and cons to just normal screws and grub screws. Like, normal screws, everybody's got a fucking screwdriver, right? Apart from guy blew his face off. Um, everybody's got a screwdriver. Yeah. But but grub screws, I feel, once they're tight, they don't loosen off. Right, this is where the issue comes, and I've got to get this quite a lot myself, is with, oh, I've shredded my, my uh, grub screws. Stop being a fucking hard bastard. You don't need to fucking screw them right fucking down. Yeah, they don't need much talk at all. People, people don't take care of the fucking gear at all. And this is what annoys me. It's not just with endless stuff. It's with every gear. You have grub screws, and if you over tighten them, they're going to fucking round off for fuck's sake. Stop being a fucking hardy cunt. Now, I just, I just without wanting to be too much of a fucking analyst, this the button is actually the part that I like the most. The button is... It, seem, it sort of harks back a lot to the limitless button. Um, it's just a really straightforward fucking, we've all seen it before, button. You don't have to fuck around with it. You've got a little Delrin adjuster there. You take that out, there's a copper retaining ring. You take the copper retaining ring out, you get access to your switch mechanism. In there, there's a pair of magnets, and I think the stock magnets are about £7, Tom? I don't even think they're that much, if I'm honest, bro. The stock magnets were fucking heavy anyway, so I've actually gone down to a silver-plated £2 spring in there. Um, but again, all that switch housing, silver plated, brass, I believe. Um, really fucking nice. Everything that's plated, all the plating is really thick. Bloody lovely. Bloody amazing. Yeah, real fucking nice, you know? Just real fucking nice. Um, for like 120 quid's worth of mod and RDA as a complete set, very happy. Very happy boy. How does the RDA perform, say, against... The flavour on the RDA is... Uh, I'm, I've become a bit of a goon fanatic recently. And the RDA sort of... The cap is a bit similar to a goon, for my mind. So I expected it to be pretty decent. Um, but I actually kind of don't want to use my goons anymore. The flavour off this RDA is actually quite a lot better than my goons. <laughs> Um, it's probably the best flavor RDA I own at the moment. The only thing I would say that I've ever owned that's maybe better than this is the Tactical from uh, Continuous Current, the Tactical Warhead. It's probably the only <laughs> thing that I've ever tried that gives better flavor. Nice. It's fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Seriously, it's phenomenal. Quite, an quite an airy draw. Quite an airy draw. It is. It is still full flavor. Well, you can. I mean, the thing is, look at look at the size of those holes. Like with my fingertip there for comparison. They're huge. They're fucking huge. But I have it dialed down to just under half, and that's perfect for me. That's that's the, about the same as a goon with two two airflow holes open. 
Douglas has just put in chat. So when are we going to see a 2700 Mex cues for the cool kids? So oh, funny you should ask that question. Funny you should ask. Oh, Douglas, it's always as if we told you to say that. Yeah. Well, Stuart, what did you see? Sorry? What did you see earlier? Uh, I saw on Facebook Mr. Paul Harrison, funny enough, while we're talking about endless mods, uh, commented talking about 2700s um, that he is now in the process of developing a 2700 mech mod that will take a cage to reduce it to an 18650 as well. So even if 2700s aren't immediately available, you'll be able to kind of have it on standby for when they are. So. It looks like, unless anybody's being quiet about it, the first 2700 mod on the UK market is going to be under Endless. Well, yeah. I mean, but then if you if you look at it, I mean, AV, it, everyone's coming out with these fucking stacker com combi things that combine them together or whatever. All you have to do is just put a little bit of an extra collar on it. Oh, no, it needs to be extended 20 mil as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, if, 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 Ab if Abel's were wider inside, you could get a 2700 in them because that top cap comes up. Oh, it screws off, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So let's talk yeah, about 2700s. Um, yeah, we sort of mentioned 2700s, didn't we? As, uh, when we were talking, uh, you know when you had your little hissy fit and you weren't here, Rick? Uh, no, I can't remember having a hissy fit. No, I remember you crying a lot. I got very emotional. I thought you were going to go. Yeah. You know, I'm actually going to say this now. We, we had quite a heated, a heated conversation because I was like, don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Stuart said, oh, I'm just pissed off that I can't create any content with you. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, I like creating content with you. What's, oh, what's so fucking funny about that, you dickhead? I'm not a big deal, mate. Cry me a fucking river. But, um... <coughs> Best host. I mentioned 2700, 2700 on that show when you were gone. GTK best host. Because uh, we were talking about sort of the future of vaping and what we thought. And um, I actually I actually had quite a bit of hope for these 2700s. And Mooch has now got hold of some and tested them. Um, so here for your viewing pleasure through the medium of screen share, I've actually got Mooch's report on the 2700s that he's managed to get his hands on. Um, so he's saying that these, uh, they're yeah. Sanyo, I believe. Hold on, we share to everybody, Rick, because it shared to everybody. Oh, yeah, it shared to everybody. Yeah. Cool. So I believe these are Sanyo 2700s, and um, there was two. The first one that he got his hands on was a 16 amp 4000 Ma, which is fucking, you know, a 4K Ma cell is good, but obviously no good for mech users. But there was a 30 amp one on the market as well that he was trying to get hold of. And he's now he's now had that and done his tests on it. Uh, and I'm sure you can all read this for yourselves. But just for the sake of saying it out loud, he says it hits as hard as a VTC 5A. Um, it runs 20% longer than a VTC 6 at 20 amps. And it runs 5 degrees cooler than an HB 6 at 20 amps. So if, the, if these are... If, if, if mods so, start to hold on 230% longer. Yeah, lasts 230% longer than an HB6, yeah. Jesus. Um, if, if, if mods start to support these cells, everything about them is already better than what we're using at the moment. And on top of that, they can charge at 2.2 amps. Can I, can I express my a couple of concerns? Do it. That I have about these cells. Right. Okay. So obviously 18650s have been adopted. If 2700s have been adopted, they would have been there. You're going to be one hard push to get people out of the mindset of 18650s. Right. Two, if they are rated better and they do work better, people are going to start building lower. Mm. That's just fact. People, people naturally like to explore their limits. And well, push their limits. So they're, people... being, they're being posted as a 30 amp continuous and the best batteries on the market at the moment are posted as a 30 amp continuous so no one's got any reason to build any lower on them but but they will it's it's not about reason it's about uh people pushing everything to the limits and it does happen regardless of any sort of argument against it it does happen and then the third one is 
you're going to be fucking fucked with cloud comps, aren't you? You're going to have an 18650 one, a 2700 one, you're going to have a stacked one, you're going to have a fucking <laughs> regular. Cloud comps, that's probably a good thing. Adding more categories to cloud comps is probably a good thing. Mm, I don't know. Is it, they're already complicated and take half the day as it is. Mm, yeah, but, you know, I don't know. I, cloud comps aren't my thing. I don't really fucking care. Let's be realistic just, with these batteries. So I, I want to try try give sort of some information to people that haven't got a clue about these batteries. So these batteries, twenty seven hundred, are manufactured for Tesla cars. So at the moment in time, they're only manufactured for that reason. So they're not mass produced because obviously this car is not mass produced. So once sort of it's. I'm going to say you, to pick up a 2700, it's going to cost you around about $14 per battery, which once it's landed retail-wise, you're looking at 20 quid a bat. That's what you're looking at for a battery at the moment because it's not mass produced. That At this moment in time, 2700s aren't realistic to a consumer because they're so expensive. So until sort of Tesla and the battery manufacturers like currently Samsung are working on a 2700, um sony are working on 2700 obviously sanyo are already dealing with them um, well, douglas just put they're using laptops too as far as i'm aware um possibly used in cell laptops yeah more than likely but the, the majority of them they're made for electronic cars and they're used obviously in cells my, my sort of argument to it is you haven't got a charger that has doesn't charge 2700s because it's too long. So uh, even a 26650 is still 65 mil wide. Tall, sorry. So you need... I don't know. I could, fit, I could fit one in this charger. This charger, when I pull it back with my 18650, and it's got at least a centimetre worth of space. Cool. So then... They, not all chargers are going to do it. Nightcore chargers yeah. won't take them. Nightcore chargers are tight on 18650s, aren't they? Also, is it going to put a premium on uh, 2700 mods? There'll be a premium on those. Not necessarily, because it's not really going to put a massive markup on making a mod, because remember 2650s are not a markup on 2650s. Yeah, but they're going to be so, so scarce, it's going to be a supply and demand situation. So everybody jumps on board. They're going to be so scarce. You're probably going to be looking at a lot of money. Possibly. Potentially. This is purely speculation, though. We don't know. We don't know. It's all about having that battery ready available. And currently, at the moment, it's not ready available. You can't purchase it without it costing a fucking, literally, an arm and a leg. And nobody's yeah. going to spend anything on a bat. Let's be realistic. In the game where you can pick up fucking... 25 hours for six, seven quid, you're not going to buy a battery for 20 quid. No, Especially I think... 20, 30 in artillery. Re realistically, we've got to look at this as technology that's relevant in a year or two's time. There's stuff, stuff needs to happen before it matters. Hey! Oh, boy! Morning, fuckers. Hello, Morning. mate. Morning. <laughs> Fucking try Wednesday. So everybody, welcome to Vape Talk UK, episode 90. <laughs> we're, just, we're just starting, Dan, and we've been waiting all this time, mate. Yeah, we, we haven't we haven't gone live yet. My apologies. I've got a few problems to deal with. But we'll, we'll, vaping up. It's all right. <laughs> we'll finish we'll finish the twenty seven hundred conversation and then we'll uh, we'll move on to, to you you, Dolan. Um Ryan Dorr, good as I've got a twenty seven hundred squad could be a mate. Nice. I'm gonna print one out tonight. Yeah, 2700, uh, any, any sort of single cell 2700 mod, if you can get 3K mar off a 30 amp battery, I think it's worth investigating. I think it's worth the industry having a poke at and seeing if it's worth doing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Why would you not? I mean, the, the, uh, the thing is, you know, if you look at that, if you look at that report that, that Mooch has posted, it literally outperforms the best cell in each category. It's got, it's got more mar than a 30Q. It can take the same amperage and hit just as hard as a VTC 5A. Like, it beats everything. So why not at least look at it? Yeah, exactly. 
I'm just reading something Badger, Badger just sent. Badger just sent German battery supplier BMZ shows off its 12 year lifespan 2170. That's uh, 21700. Oh, that's just too big. An extra mil too big. Can't, can't relate to that. <laughs> uh, Bad Apia says, I don't understand why anyone would want to move on to any new type of battery. Plenty of fuckers don't understand batteries as we are. Because. The understanding won't be any different. They're the same chemistry. They're the same makeup. They're the same type of batteries. They're just a different size. It's no different to people using 26650s instead of 18650s or 18350s instead of 18650s. It's all the same. It's to, just to be, better to be performance. Fair, I haven't got an issue with just swapping my batteries out. You haven't, but some people have. I mean, like, when I'm vaping mechs, I go through a fucking ton of batteries. I go through four batteries, like... No time. It's not necessarily that though. It's we're stepping into new technology. We can't sort of go, oh no, there's a fucking iPhone seven out. Oh, I like my iPhone six. Fuck off. We've got to sort of move. New technology though. It's the same technology. No. Exactly, but it's better. So would you rather use a better performing battery, or would you rather go, oh fuck it, I've shopped at Tesco's on my life. I'll never try anywhere else. It might be cheaper in Asda, but fuck it. Exactly what Douglas says. If you're a fuckwit using an 18650, you'll be a fuckwit using a 2700. And the mods won't be huge. The mods won't be huge at all. It's fucking two. It's two millimeters longer and fifty and uh, five millimeters wider. Higher. Yeah. No. Wider. Two millimeters. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Two millimeters wider and five millimeters taller. So if that's your 18650, it's about that much bigger. Why don't you get some calipers on there and show us properly? <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> so yeah, the mods won't be huge. The mods will barely be any bigger. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm just okay. stuck in your ways. Well, I no, like I'm, not, I'm not stuck in my ways. I welcome new technology, and I welcome, but like. Just think about it, Rick. When you're playing Rocket League, you don't have to stop to change batteries as often. I don't. I right, just plug it in USB. There you go. USB mods done. Sorted. Desk mods. Yeah. Well, to be fair, um, the corner's plugged into USB. Yeah, because yeah, because USB is the safest way to fucking pass through. Is the safest way, isn't it? Well, it is on a, on a device like that with an internal LiPo that's got a fucking balanced charging circuit built into it, then USB is perfect. That's called balanced charging, not vaping the power through the, oh, through the battery while you charge it at the same time. Anyways, that's a different fucking story. That's a different fucking story. But the, no. the, the thing is, 2700s is something that we can move forward to because it is a better battery. Okay, it might take a little bit longer for people to get used to, but... All it takes is a couple of big mod makers or big companies like Smock to introduce it, and people will go, "Fuck it, I'll do it." You know, yeah, you're going to get some fuck nut with an eighteen six fifty and a in a, in a twenty seven hundred mod and putting a little bit of tin foil in between. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> well, the thing about, like like Paul like Paul said in his post on Facebook earlier, people are going to make cages to reduce them. They already do it with twenty six six fifty mods. Yeah, you look at like the um, the fucking Los Vape Scar. It's a single twenty six six fifty mod. But it's got this little rock out cage that you can slide an eighteen six fifty into. It's or you free. can just you can just three D print sleeves for fucking twenty six six fifty mods. Twelve blah 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 blah. Anyway, uh, <coughs> the one thing that has been holding back the vape industry, or what has been holding the vape industry back with regards to mods, has been battery technology. Now we're getting some movement in that area. It can only be a good thing, or it could make the wattage race completely fucking stupid. We've already got a fucking <laughs> 300, 400 fucking watt mod. Fucking hell. Have you had one of those new RX 300s in your hand yet? They're no. Old. No. But the problem is, it's, it's it's not necessarily us that buy the high wattage mods. It's fucking... It's, it's the people that have been vaping five minutes. Seriously, it's like wanking off a horse, mate. They're fucking massive. This is a far better vape at 60 watts than it is at 120. With the chocolate teapot. I mean, I got I got different coils in it, but but yeah, it's far better. Oh, I was tempted to give one of those a try. 
What Skyhook? Yeah. Hey, it's fucking. It is actually decent. I've I've been vaping it since I got it. I can't remember when I got it. Did I have it on the show last week? Yeah, yeah. we both got we both got a new regulated last week, didn't we? We were fucking both chatting yeah. about. It. I've had it and I've been vaping it ever since, and it's not had a single dry hit. Not let me down once. You see, I even based on, your, based on your explanation last week, I really couldn't get my head around how it worked. So I ordered. Just want to. Just want to very quickly address something in the chat. Rizzo19821 just said, doesn't it open up more to rewraps of overrated amp limits? Something you have to realise is, if it's a newer battery technology and there's less cells on the market, because of how much more aware we are because of people like Mooch, there's actually less opportunity for overrated rewraps because we'll know that only these X three or four manufacturers are making them. And if it doesn't have that manufacturer's name on it, we'll know it's a rewrap. So it's not... Because eighteen six fifties have been around for so long, and there's so many different ones, that's why rewraps are so much more of an issue. So it's actually going to be less of a problem. There you go. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Mooch, Mooch is the uh, the the man, the Don. The you get Don. him on the show. Get Mooch on the show. Yeah, we'll get Mooch on the show. He, he, vape, he vapes at like fucking point two on a mech mod, doesn't he? And He's, he's like super, super safe, really chilled out, fucking conservative vapor. He's a nice guy. Anyway, sorry, Mark. Mark, sorry, you were, you were saying. No, I was just saying that. Um, you know, based on your your love of them, I ordered a bunch in, and first lot that came in ripped it out of the box and had a good look, and I, I actually quite like the idea of it. They, they, have you not had a go on one yet? No. Uh, you should, you should really actually have a go on one. I just if I buy one. But I don't think, okay, yeah, it's it's different. Yeah, but even as a demo for your shop. I don't like throwing money away, Christ. Well, yeah, but you're not because <laughs> everybody knows that if you're vaping a juice in a shop, right, and someone will walk in and say, what, what are you vaping? You know, you're like, you're like, what are you interested in? And you go, what are you vaping? And you say this, and they, they tend to buy a bottle. Same with mods. If you're, if you're vaping a mod that you've got in the shop, then, you know, it's true. They can we, have a go in it. They can have a look around it. It, it so actually. I've been going to see for months and just no one wants to take to them. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck do I yeah. do? Yeah. <laughs> no point when, whenever I go into work, I usually buy a couple of bottles of juice first thing in the morning, like as we're opening. And whatever, like, whatever juice I'm vaping that day, it'll always be something we sell in the shop. And I guarantee it'll always be the thing we sell the most of that day. Does your, your, your boss not let you vape the stock? Not for free. <laughs> fucking hell. You know, I need to change my fucking rules, don't I? Yeah, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, we actually get heavily discounted. Um, yeah, of course, we all get our staff discounts. No, I mean heavily discounted. Uh, oh, sorry, Rick. Heavily, heavily. Show, show us your de the deck. What, show us your the deck. <laughs> Skyhook. I've actually just got just a very simple, basic, bloody, I can't remember how many wraps, six wraps? Six wraps, 24 gauge, count for it. I think I've got auto focus turned on. Hello. Well, I'll see you, Sky. Your camera's got yeah. about as much focus as me with my fucking ADD. Yeah, exactly. There you go. But yeah, I, it, it works well, and I cannot knock it. Um, it's a Skyhook. But I should imagine the RDTA box is exactly the same. Um, the RDTA box isn't made by Smock, though, is it? No. No, it's... Uh... Huh? Oh, Joy? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Anyway, back on to 2700s. <laughs> uh, the only problem is, filling it up, look, I've just been sat here this whole time, filling it up, and it's like... <laughs> Couldn't even more of a come with those TPD-compliant bottles, isn't it? Uh -huh. No, mate. No, it won't be. It won't be a cunt at all. Because so you I'll just snap the nozzle out of it and just bloop it straight in, don't you? I'll just be buying zeros. Pure and simple. Well, that is a very good segue. So maybe we should let Mark tell us what he's vaping on, so that we can segue. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this evening, I am running. Funnily enough, on a little Kagatek forty watt drip box. Hadley, and I can't get enough of this shit. I notice um, Rick's got a bottle in his hand, but I'm with Little Havana. Yeah, nice Little juice. Havana's good. Nice juice. Very good. Very, very, very good. And that's all I'm vaping on. 
I, I tell you what, right? Simple vape. I'm going to say this. Simple vape. Their first range that came out was meh, yeah. right. Then, then all of a sudden, cheap thrills. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. Even rush. Uh, not rush rush. Yeah, yeah. What's what's Sunset the strip. Sunset Strip? The, the third one. Fucking like, delicious. And and then and then they smash it again with Miami Drip Club. Yeah, they just don't seem to go wrong anymore, do they? No, it's they're, they're they're fucking, so much sweetener in it though. Decent juice. And I'm so glad because there was a point when it first came out, it was like twenty five quid, wasn't it, for for uh, sixty mil? And they've actually dropped their price to match everybody else in the whole twenty quid for sixty mil race. Yeah, that's right. I've actually um, got them um supporting our next meet. I was going to say sponsor, but we're not allowed to say that, are we? So that's yeah. our next meet. Who have you got coming down, Christian or Mario? Um, not sure yet. That's still to be ironed out. I know Arthur's coming there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to let me know where your next meet is, so I can't turn up again. I just don't bother, mate. <coughs> not, not one of you cunts. Not one of you cunts made it. Uh, to be fair, Tom. Tom's probably the closest <laughs> by a, by a country. In, in, my, in my defence, I'm just going to say that the first I heard of it was on the 26th of December, yeah. and uh, it was on the 30th of December. So you can suck a dick, mate. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Rizzo, Rizzo said, "Good point. I just don't trust China." Oh, what on the batteries? Leave things. Tom alone. <laughs> yeah, God, it's not Tom's fault every time. But what do you mean, Thomas? Like, I just want to elaborate like, on it's, that. It's about the battery wrapping thing. For the batteries. Right, no, but that, that's regardless of that statement, fucking news in China made fucking batteries whether they're rewraps or not. So China makes yeah, fucking everything. All the authentic batteries are manufactured in China anyway, pretty much. Fuck me. Try buy a telly that's not fucking Chinese made for fuck's sake. Try buy a microwave that's not fucking Chinese made. Jesus. Everything Try and buy a games console that's not Chinese made. Try and buy a laptop that's not Chinese made. <laughs> Or else is fucking Chinese, so that statement's fucking wrong. So, whoever said that, I'm sorry, but Thomas, that's Thomas, what it is. Thomas, 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 dry your eyes, mate. You grab a box of <laughs> Come on, dry your eyes, mate. Look, they're fucking ragging on his people, though, aren't they? It's not very nice. It's, it's not it's hard to see that that you love you love China. <laughs> oh, I just had a message from uh, Mr. Douglas. You know, you know, Cthulhu. Never heard of her. C Cthulhu, Cthulhu, they do the, the elder the, god, like, the elder god terror, and the squonky squonk, the squonky squonk thing. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm going to share this because actually this looks quite decent. <clears throat> there you go. It's uh, the Gaia RDTA. Uh, it's pre-order at the moment. Apparently, fifty percent sold out. Seventeen dollars ninety-nine. That's quite cheap, isn't it? It's very cheap. Um, I, like, I like the fact that it's got that yellow plastic high-end drip tip. Oh, yeah, yeah you've got to have the yellow plastic yeah. high-end drip tip. You're I'm not high-end sure. unless you've got something made of yellow plastic or something that's like made of frosted fucking PMA. Well, the good news is it's squonk-friendly as well. Squonk-friendly. So you can fill the tank from your squonk tank? Well, to be fair, they, they spell it squank-friendly. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, it was squonk-friendly. Because for sub twenty quid, as Douglas put, you'd be silly not to. Um, I, I probably won't until they come out properly. <laughs> I don't like pre-orders. I'm, I'm not a fan of the uh, the pre-order side of things. But that's just my personal sort of thing. There you go. I just wanted to put that in there whilst we're talking like squonky stuff. And anyway, Dolan, it's still you. What was I on? I did that bit. Um... What was I going to talk about? Oh, there's a couple of things I want to talk about this evening. Um, first off, is going to fall into wireless, wank wireless wankers somewhat. Um, any of oh, you we've guys... already done that. We've done wireless wankers. You've done what? Wireless wankers. Well, I'm going to I'm going to back. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you speak about the new AV mod? The new what? The new AV mod. No, no, no we haven't. No. Uh, have we seen it? We haven't. Well, is this the new TK? Yeah. I've seen it. Bear with me. I've come very well prepared, and I don't have an image. Bear with me a second. <clears throat> I think my opinion might be unpopular. I quite like it. So do I. That's what I think is going to be unpopular about my opinion. I can't find a photo. Can't find a photo. Badger, help me out. The new type <laughs> <of> keeper. <laughs> 
Badger, um, Badger's basically got like Cerebro for the whole internet in front of him. You can just fucking reach into any part of the internet and find anything. Badger, Badger is Siri, basically. Yeah. Or Cortana. Yeah, either way, um, Avid Life have um, released a new um, timekeeper. Um, now, I think it's very much they're the ones that go bang. Yes, Douglas, they are the ones that go bang. Um, yes, they've uh, they've um, released, well, not released, but I thought everyone had gone then. Um, no, 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 we're still here. We're, 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 we're still in the new timekeeper. Now, Oh my god! Oh my god! I think so. Let me let me share this. You tell you tell me. Revolver. If it is, it might not be. No, it just looks like a normal timekeeper. Oh. Has it got bullets in it? No. Yeah. Is it that, is it that one? That one there. No, no that's the old one. Oh, okay. Fair no, I can't find it. Anyway, carry on. Yeah. So um, they've released very much, I believe. I oh, got it. Bear with. All very professional here. Um, <laughs> yeah, me too. Hang on. <laughs> we, we were going quite well until Dalen turned up. I did. I did. Do you want me to share it? I've got it on my screen. Yeah, me too. I've got it, mate. So, they have released... I did share the right screen. Yeah, don't show us Pornhub. Fit! So, they've announced this new timekeeper, and it, it's kind of been fitting with the original... Um, timekeeper hourglass kind of shape and then they've kind of gone with this revolver style bullet style come but come. <laughs> kind, of, kind of thing come on it. you know what initially I looked at it and thought what the actual fuck is that but the more I look at it it's fit yeah and I'm looking at the top and it's 510 as well that with that you know that revolver RDA that's got the sort of ferrules running up it yep those together will be still my beating Jeb I think it looks fucking horrible yeah I'm, I'm, I'm it talking it's, it, well I, I mean, uh, it's just not my bag you know what I mean it, it's it looks shabby like, as fuck which I think is why I like it it's like it's like the one that looks like it being run over it's just not my my cup of tea yeah, it's like a flashlight, five LEDs. Well, I like it. Well, you, you, you're well within your rights to like it. You're fucking wrong, but you're well within your rights. <laughs> right, bit, mate. Um, lovely I, eyes. I, can I just understand something? In America, they under the FDA, they can't release any new mods, right? Right. So if you're appealing to a market, you're going to be trying to appeal to the UK. Well, we don't have fucking guns, so why are you trying to appeal with guns? <laughs> That's <laughs> a good point. Next best, next best thing to a gun, isn't it? Yeah, the, the revolver. To be honest, we've seen it blows your face off, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's a very good point, though, Tom. It is a good point. It doesn't make sense from a marketing perspective. But knobheads like me and Dolan like it, so... Yeah, oh, there's always going to be a market for it. It's got AV on there, and there's going to be loads of people sucking cock for one, but... <clears throat> anyway, something I really, 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 really want to talk about is something that I'm extremely excited by. Um, Midget porn. Apart from that, um, those of you that know me will know that I very, very, very much like the um, Sherman tank. Yeah. Not, not the the, the, yeah, 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 yeah. the twenty yeah, yeah, yeah. tank. Now I've found something out earlier and I've been sent photos that Tom O'Connor has released is releasing an RDA. Uh, do you know what from the build up I could have guessed. Oh there we go. And I am extremely excited. The tank is one of the best tanks hands down that I have ever I've ever used. Now apparently it's in sort of testing and being Handed out to the community for people to try and get right. Um, I've been told about a month before it goes into production. Um, 28 mil again, so a nice, nice, nice big deck with adjustable bottom airflow again. Uh, 316 surgical steel as before. Silver plated copper positive pin. Um, heavyweight. Heavy, heavyweight top cap, not not cheap and flimsy. Nice, good, heavy um, cap, and much like 
much like the Sherman tank, banging, banging flavour, so I'm told. And I am really, really, really excited. So can, can I just ask you, that's 28 mil wide, yeah? 28 mil wide, yeah. How tall is that? About as tall as Dolan, I imagine. Yeah. It's, I, to me, I, I would have, and you know, I've got no say in this. I'm not a fucking RDA expert or anything. But so for me, I, I would prefer something shorter. Probably about half that size, to be fair. Um, just seeing if I can get confirmation on the height. Um, is that the only picture you have, Mark? Or can we see? Is there any it's internal? It's the it, look, it looks like it's going to be like a, a bloody 35, 40 mil height. Yeah. So that's 28 wide. Um, well, it's going to be 35, I reckon. And that's quite tall. That's three. That's t- Get your penis out, Tom. We'll, we'll compare it. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a coat can, what you're talking about. <laughs> well, well, that little cool. 10p fucking mini <laughs> yeah, 10 <laughs> pound cork. And yeah, probably an open and crushed one as well. Anyway. <laughs> You're gonna have to fill up that book here. Yeah, Tom, you've got a little willy. <laughs> why, why are we? We've latched onto these willy jokes. Uh, Dolan, have you died? Or no, I'm still here. Sorry, I'm listening. He just really likes that RDA. Yeah, he's just, <laughs> just, just yeah. Read. I didn't yeah. want you to see me licking the screen. But <laughs> um, yeah, no. Mucho excited. <laughs> so why is it so tall? Just have you seen the deck at all? Or? I've not. I've not seen the deck yet. However, I'm expecting it to be the same, if not similar, to the Sherman tank. Yeah. Uh, what is the post system on the Sherman? Mine's in my bag. If you give me two seconds, I'll grab it. If you want to talk about yourselves, I'll go grab one. We just, we just wanted to know what the post system was. <laughs> you can use words, Dylan. I do not remember. We all speak words. I refuse to. Um, let me give you, let me give you some four options. Posts. Four two posts. posts, three side, three posts, velocity, style, or four posts. Four posts. Four okay. All right. Well, there you go. Done. Sorted. But like, I, I still think they could just study it down. But anyway, that's that's only purely my. Chowed it a bit. Yeah, chowed it down slightly. <laughs> Chowed it down, boys. Chowed it down. I completely lied. It is a two-post design. My apologies. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love the I love the Sherman. No fuck all about it, but I love it. Yes. You know what? Because the tank, we, was it? Then? We built it few, so few times that I didn't really pay that much attention. But it is a a, a two-post deck. My apologies. Sorry, Tom. My fuck up. And there you have it. Right, well, <laughs> lovely. This is after well, that bombshell. Yeah, after <laughs> that bombshell. Well, I, I actually have a subject I wanted to talk about. To be fair, uh, I, I don't know why I keep saying to be fair. I've been saying it all day. It's so fucking annoying. To be, to be fair. fair. To be fair. To be is fair. That what you so fucking, is it? Yeah, yeah. To the fair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's that's the circus. Um, zero nick juices. Is there any, and I stumbled upon a thought today. <laughs> it sounds like I don't think too much. I, I did. And I thought it was it was basically someone said when we said, yeah, here's a J30 mil or something like that. And someone said, have you got anything bigger? And I just thought, that's all we're going to fucking hear when we've got 10 mil juice on the show. Have you got anything bigger? That's all you're going to hear. Mm. Now, if you want to satisfy the customer with something bigger, you're going to have to start doing zero nicks. So right, is I'm, Zero Nick going to take off as much as I think it is, or not? I want it to. I want to see, like, the Dark Star 18 milligram, 10 mil, flavourless, and 60 mil bottles with 50 mil of juice in them. That's what I want to see. Funny you should say that, because Skid is moving over to that format. They're moving over to 60 mil. You're not doing 10 mil at all. No, well, the skin. No, we're we're doing ten mil obviously in the shop, but the skinted range was always a hundred and twenty mil. But it's it's a hundred mil, and then you got two nick shots that you put in to make it one hundred and twenty. But we're moving over to fifty mil, um, in a sixty mil bottle, and then it's just a single shot in there of eighteen milligram, which will make it through. Are you worried um, about more runs and adding nicotine? 
Uh, no, because you're providing a shop. You're, you're just giving them a free gift. You know what I mean? It's just. Like, no, no. Are, are you worried about some of your customers self-dosing by adding their own nicotine to a bottle and potentially not mixing it right? And um, every person gets told to shake like fuck. Um, I, get I get it. It worries me though. I mean, as long as it's a 10 mil of 18 milligram going with 50, and a 5 mil of 18 milligram going with 20, uh, going with 25, we haven't got a problem. You can't over, you can't overdose it. As long as the shot, as long as the doublers themselves are packaged correctly, match. Yeah, because it's literally one one 10, 10 mil of 18 milligram goes in a 50 mil to make it a 60 mil at three milligram. So there's not too much to go wrong. I made, like, I made you know battery mistake. sleds, Mark. You know how battery sleds have like a plus at one end and a minus <laughs> at one end. So you basically can't do it wrong. It's a similar sort of situation. You just can't do it wrong. It's impossible. Like you'd have to be a complete moron to fuck it up. I was waiting for how long that would take. But to be fair, I know what Mark's saying because I done that. Of that I, I took a hundred mil off the shelf, put two nick shots in, shook like fuck, and then. I went to taste it because, you know, I did three milligram, took the cap off, dabbed it on my hand, tasted it. I just had the pure 18 milligram nicotine on my tongue. Um, because sure. obviously your first action when you shake is up. So all the nicotine that's in the top, floating on the top, actually goes up the spout. So now we actually advise people to unscrew the cap, let it all drop down and give it another quick shake after. <laughs> but yeah, um, we've not had any issues really, to be honest, Mark, since we've been doing it. Also, no, can I just say that, Roland, you've got really long fingers. <laughs> what? I've got to get down in your small bottle and give it a mix. Just thought you yeah. might like to know. <laughs> Have you seen the size of my thumbs? I've got massive thumbs. Look, look at those. Wow. <laughs> my toes. Yeah, we're all right. Turn it the other way. Turn it the other way. It looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like your penis. Is that what you're saying? No, you put a smiley face on it. It looks like someone. <laughs> you have what a that? <laughs> yeah. I draw a beard on it. It'll look like Thomas. Thomas Thumb. Yeah, yeah no, no, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not knocking it. it just, it's just something that I think, for now, I don't think I'd stock it. Um, for now, for now. I'm not. I'm yeah. not. I'm not completely poo-pooing the idea. I think it's a cracking idea. It just it worries me a little bit. It just worries me a little bit that someone's not going to shake enough. Someone's going to end up dripping potentially eighty milligram. That's right. We had a guy in the shop the other day with fifty-four milligram, a hundred percent PG vaping it. Like just oh, this is the stuff. Because he asked if I remembered him. I think I talked about it once before on the show. But he asked if I remembered him. And he actually brought his liquid. I wouldn't try it. No fucking way. But, what huh? What device was he on? Uh, just a mouth to lung. But like 54 milligram, 100% KG. Uh, but no, I think yeah, but there's going to be a point in May, right? Obviously, when the TPD is in full effect and you can only sell your 10 mils, right? And sure, they're going to come in boxes, like, you know, three in a box or four in a box or five in a box or 20 in a box for a 200 mil. Um, but every other person I feel in our shop is going to come in and say, have you got anything bigger? And if you haven't got anything bigger, they're going to go down to bloody old bathtub brewers down the road. There's two ways right. this could go. It can work very successfully where... It'll, it'll become sort of the the norm to sort of buy nick shots and add it in. Or it's going to become where I agree what Mark's saying, but then I can also agree with what Stuart was saying last week when he was saying about basically like dollar mixer in. Yeah, if you it's it's a model that's worked in Australia for a long time now. You know, it's it's a it's not a loophole because it's not stated in the TVD, so it can, can't be called a loophole. So basically, as Stuart was saying last week, saying people that have gone through the TPD are going to go back to them and say, well, I've fucking gone through the TPD and I've paid this much money. They're doing fucking nick shots. So basically what you're doing is you're dobbing a fucking mixer in whether they're doing it 
because of the regulations of doing it the right way or they're mixing it in a bathtub and selling 100 ml bottles, three milligrams for the fruit back door of the house. Regardless of the way so, it is. As long as that next shot sold as a separate entity, it's um as a, as an eighteen milligram unflavored mixing shot. Then there's some, you, if it if it's mixed and it's zero milligram, it doesn't fall under the TPD. It's pure and simple. It's completely plain, and that's why sites like just add Nick and stuff are popping up. Yeah, no, it was the yeah. home brewer. Don't get me wrong for the for the home mixer. No problem. If it's being sold as a as a mixing kit, then. No issue at all. My problem is when it it's on the shelf next to juices. It's, it's, not, really, it's yeah. not really a problem. It's it's just my concern. Yeah, but you're going to have concerns with everything. You have got concerns with battery. Is that guy going to walk down and lick the battery? You know what I mean? It's it's the same. Oh, I thought that thing. was a dig. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. Do you know what? I don't think that was that close to say <laughs> some fucked up putting the battery in the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I've, because you have these battery issues, I fully understand your concerns, Mark. But, <laughs> <laughs> however, it's just a case of going plonk, shake, 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 shake. And I, I always say, wait until it goes fucking cloudy when you're shaking it. That means you've got so many bubbles in there. Um, yeah, it, just seems, it just seems like a slap in the face for all those going through the TPD. Great for the consumer, though. Um, in a way, yes. Um, I agree. But there's always going to be that market out there that... Can't it, be fucked to chuck a bottle in a bottle. Dude, we talked. We talked about it a million times. It's that straight divide of the industry of casual vapors <laughs> that just want to pick up a bottle of juice, stick it in their device, and vape it, and hobbyist vapors who'll be willing to fucking dump a nick shot in, mix it up, and have the convenience of a bigger bottle. It's two different markets. It'll it'll be just as good for both parties. Oh, I agree completely. But also, you say it is slap in the face for those going through the TBD. Some companies. Don't even make a profit on their juice. <laughs> you know, I mean, there, there are some juice companies out there, not mentioning any names, but I know, I know a company or two um, that don't make a profit on their juice. They're, they're, you know, it's obviously cost them a fortune to get it made, and they're still paying off that. So they haven't been able to afford to take it for the TPD. Right. The difference is, you go to any distributor. That distributor will not, will probably not at the moment, stock any zero nick. I've the- heard different now. <laughs> <laughs> not as many though so those that have spent the money on the tp are going to be go, going to be able to distribute in a traditional man- manner and be able to reap the rewards mm-hmm. of paying for that yes service. yeah but zero nick has always been available it has it has always been available you know and when in the shop if we run out of a six milligram you know, ten mil, a ten mil, six mil, El Diablo we've got in the shop. And if we run out of a six mil, we we tell them to just get a zero and a twelve and mix them together. I make six. It's, you know, very few. A lot of them make a fortune. Yes, there's there is a lot of money in juice. To be fair, there really is a lot of money in juice if you get it right. You see, the thing for me, and this is me speaking very personal, is that I don't have an issue with it being salt a zero milligram and added a a nick shot to it. My whole issue that's going around my head sort of thought of I'm going back to what Stuart said of fucking dob and fucking mixer in. It, for me personally, as this is me speaking as Tom, not Tom the Vapor or whatever, for me personally, if your business is doing as well as it is, then you shouldn't be bothered what Mr. Fucking Blogs is doing down the road because he's doing nick shots. It shouldn't affect your business. <laughs> but there's nothing to dob in. There's nothing to dob in. You know what I mean? I mean, granted, it's slightly different if you've got a zero milligram and you present the 10 mil bottle, the 10 mil mixer, nicking shot in the box. That's completely different because then you are selling the product with nicotine. <laughs> Completely Maybe separate supply, entity. Supply kit, though, Sorry? Supplying a DIY kit, though, aren't you? DIY kits have always been available. It's just the difference is the difference is the nicotine has to come in 10 mil bottles now and um, under 20 milligrams. That's the only difference. Yeah, but what, well, I'm not I'm not arguing that that's not what to to dob in. What I'm stating is that people have gone through the TPD and turned around to the how is that being go? Well, I've gone through it. I've done this, and they're doing that. Are they going to then say, "All right, then we'll look into that," and then you can't do that anymore? Well, what are they going to ban? Uh, 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 yeah. Eighteen milligram unflavored ten mil 
liquid? No, mix it's doing it as a mixed product. So it's it's becoming a mixed. No, you're, you're not selling it as a mixed product. You're, you're selling it as not, just selling it entity. You've got an 18 milligram non-flavored. What they do with that is up to them. You know, but they, it's, sorry, but then they can say you've told people what to do in the shop to do it, how to do it. You're then telling them to make it a mixed product. I haven't told anybody. I just say some people have been doing this. It comes to a point where you don't need to tell anyone. Yeah, no, that, no, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, Rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. So then it doesn't come down to the juice manufacturer themselves. It comes down to the store and the person in the store stating, you need to do this or I've been told you can do it like this. It then becomes falls on the shop's head. So it's not necessarily the person who's manufacturing the liquid and the 10 mil TPD compliant nicotine. It then becomes down to the shop. So that, does that then mean people are going to go, well, that shop's doing it that way. That shop's doing it that way. This is doing it that well, way. Because we're, we're, we're allowed to offer advice. It's the same as me selling a zero and a 12 so someone can mix their own six. Yeah, that's how, no, but that's how we see it. That's not how the powers can be see it. No, I, do, I don't think I, do, I don't think it's an issue. I'm not sure how they could regulate it in any way, but no doubt they will. <laughs> I think the main concern we need to worry about is the excise duty. That's I think nice I, I saw some I saw some quotes from Cutler's new ten mil line. Fuck me, the price of those bastards and the recommended retail. Ooh, the minimum retail is redonkulous. And you're going to get a lot of this going on. Um, and then if you if you add excise duty, right, if, if it's the highest point is going to be around 50%, right, the highest point. The lowest is around 20%, yeah? So if you put it at the highest point, you're talking about 12 quid, 10 quid, 12 quid for a 10 mil bottle. Fuck that. You see, where, where I don't think there'll be an issue, let's say that across the board, there'll be about five quid for 10 mil, let's say, on average. Yeah, on average, yeah. Which makes you 30 mil at 15 quid, which is about right. Mm -hmm. Where the issue is, is when you get up to your 60 mils. Yeah. I, I think if there's enough room to be able to do 60 mils, six bottles for around about the 20 ish pounds mark which is what everyone's used to pay in i don't think there'll be a massive issue there, there is there is going to be enough room there's going to be more than enough room um there is as long as you get a mix in the right place in the right lab but there is a lot of margin in juice for the manufacturer and a lot of margin in juice for the actual juice owner I mean, if the juice owner is manufacturing the self, there's an even bigger margin. You're talking double margin. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, now you're going down to this 10 mil format, it's going to be a little bit more costly because you're paying, obviously, for, you know, in a normal 60 mil, you're paying for six 10 mil bottles. Yeah. And the, the price between a 60 mil bottle and a 10 mil bottle is literally a couple of pence. So, so you're paying, obviously, more for the 10 mil bottles, but there's still enough margin in there to sell us six 10 mil bottles for that £20 price bracket. Mm. Well, that's that's the other thing is you know as as retailers we've had it reasonably good in the margins that retailers get to make on juice they've had it reasonably good yeah. Yeah. there is there's definitely a bit of leeway that retailers can make on juice as well and say all right we'll we'll absorb a bit of this to make it still affordable for the consumer but that that should be on on the. Uh, the how can I put this? Everybody has to do their bit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Ma manufacturers have to take a little bit less. The the owners of the juice have to take a little bit less, and the consumer and has to pay a touch to, more. Yeah, yeah, and, exactly. and, and the shop has to skim off a little bit more. You yeah, know, what I mean, you're splitting it three ways, and and nobody loses too much. Everyone loses a little bit, but no one loses too much and has to go out of business. Exactly. If everybody skimmed off ten percent. Then that's Look that's with our proposed fucking vape utopian yeah. society. Well, you know, it happens, it happens. But it's it's definitely a very interesting debate. And I believe we've got a guest on next week to talk a bit more about it. Yes, we have. Um, I just want to go over something though. Do you not personally think that 
not necessarily your, your everyday vapor, but would you not see what James it being pushed? In, yeah, James, it, wouldn't you see it being pushed into sort of a a black market in a sort of a way with sort of no. juice being? No, not no, I don't think so. It's no more think, a black market than home brewing is now. Home brewing is not a black market. Think, think how well, well, I say how well, but think how the Australian market works. And they do their doublers and it's all zero nick and they can't legally buy nicotine in Australia. No. But that's a they, weird they, loophole where they are legally allowed to import nicotine. Yeah, well, that's fucking mental. <laughs> What, what the fuck? Yeah, but they can still buy cigarettes. It's like, say, it's like saying, look, you can't breed tigers, but if you want to bring one over from Asia, yeah, fucking all right. crack on. Crack Have on. yourself a tiger, mate. No yeah. worries. Yeah, they they cap the nick at 20 milligrams as they deem the safest option in a 10 mil. There's no rules on advice given mentioned. Typically. See, and that's another annoying thing as well. We had this discussion today. I think they should have changed it slightly. I think personally... Anything below 10 milligram, you can have unlimited size. If, if they're worried about the kids, because I know my boss's dog swallowed 40 mil of three milligram juice over the weekend, and he was absolutely fine. Um, <laughs> and then anything over 10 mil, there should be restrictions on bottle sizes, maybe if that's the direction they would have wanted to go. But, you know, that's just purely my opinion. Right, <coughs> the what? I don't, what I don't understand though is is another thing I don't understand about the TPD is it doesn't say anything about manufacturers being able to still get it in seventy two milligram. Yeah, it is. Yeah, manufacturers can still get it in seventy two. So, how, how do you know the person's a manufacturer? What do you need to provide to show you're a manufacturer? Business. Literally, literally. To be fair, to register a business on Company House takes what five ten minutes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's. it's <laughs> It's it's just it's a load of horseshit, isn't it? Really, let's face it. I, I you know, register a fucking business for fucking twenty four hours and then fucking dissolve it in twenty four hours, and you bought fucking a thousand liter of nick at seventy two milligram. Well, it don't make any sense to me. Yeah. Anybody can still buy it. Douglas is just saying you can, but you have to have a license. I don't think that's true. If it's seventy two, I think anything deemed over seventy five is actually a poison. You have to carry a poisons license. Um. But anything below 70, I think it's 75, which is where the 72% comes in because it's below and it allows a little margin for error. Um, I, I, I could be completely wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. That's interesting, actually. I've got somewhere. I'm just trying to find it now. I actually, I've got written down what the LD50 for nicotine is. I'm just trying to, trying to dig it out. I'd say I might be 100% wrong on that. Uh, no, I, I actually, I actually have a chemist who's told me what the lethal dosage for nicotine is in the past. But I'm just trying to find the bit in Facebook where it is. It's a little ways back in my feed. But I'll, I will find it. It won't take me too long. There you go. You may, you may be right, mate. It's all a bit ill. It's all a bit fucking mental. And there's no one that knows a hundred percent. No one. Would that mean our norm, which is seventy thirty, will change? I guess they create VG based nick shots. Yeah, you can either do it. You can do it one or two ways. You can do a VG based or a PG based nick shot, um, and then you basically mix your juice. So once that ten mil VG or PG nick shot's been poured in, it'll make it seventy thirty, or eighty twenty, or whatever you want. VAT. Rizzo's just put VAT in there. VAT. I don't know. Perhaps he misspelled fat. Lethal dose is somewhere around 80 odd, if I remember correct. Yeah. To be to be fair, 80 milligram did not taste nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, uh, I've accidentally mixed juice at 30 milligram the first time I tried mixing. Ooh, that sh fucking killed me off. Yeah, that's got to be a bit mental. Just like painful, literally painful. Yeah, I can't find this post, unfortunately. But unfortunately, regardless of concerns or anything, Dolan, I really think that's the direction a lot of retailers are going to go because you're still offering the consumer something bigger than a 10 mil. I mean, Nick, granted, you're going to have boxes of like three, four, five, but you're still going to be able to offer that as long as they don't mind adding nicotine themselves. 
Um, oh, hang on. I, I found it. Nicotine has an LD50 of 0.5 to 1 milligrams per kilo. So what does that work out? So that would mean that, um, I mean, it, it weighs, e-liquid weighs a little bit more than water. So that would mean about, yeah, about 80 to 100 milligrams would be lethal. There you go, 80. But yeah, like I said, I really think it's the direction the industry is going to go. It's just going to, when it comes in, and you know, there, there are people that have pushed through the TPD. There are people that have got it. And, you know, that's fucking brilliant. That's absolutely amazing. People that have actually fully stuck to these rules and they deserve to be rewarded by people buying their juice. And I'm still not going to buy my favorites, you know, like TYV and stuff like that. That's all going to be purchased. Um, but there is going to be a bigger market for the Zero Nick. A bigger market and i've i've heard there are a couple of big retail uh, um well how to put it anyway the, the big big companies asking for zero nicks from manufacturers well there's no ruling on how many fucking 10 mil bottles of eight, 20 milligram nick you can sell anyway no exactly so yeah, you can only like like you're really allowed to buy two times sorry yeah you can you, you, People could, be people could be selling litres and just saying, hey, go, there's fucking 10, 10 mil bottles, go fucking dip it in that, and there's a litre of fucking juice. There's no regs to what the size is. There's no, you know, there's no regs to see you can't 10, 10 mil mixers. The, the other thing that we're, that we're not considering is there's every possibility of selling a package that contains a large empty bottle and a load of 10 mils, and the large empty bottle is a free gift, like a branded bottle. Um, I think it'd have to be sold separately. I think, yeah, possibly. Not because it's a DIY kit, isn't it? No, no. But in terms of, I mean, um, it's all in ten mils and it's an empty bottle. If it's yeah, all in ten I'm, mils, I'm not sure. Bottle, I haven't right? actually looked into that. I remember, I remember having a conversation with someone way back, way back. So this is a long time ago. Um, about the same thing. And it was it was deemed in conversation, and again purely speculation that you wouldn't be able to provide a bottle in a box with the ten mils. You'd have to sort of go here. You go here's a bottle, free gift. Right, but there's yeah. nothing. There's nothing. Yeah, to there you go. You are you are allowed to do free gifts. Yeah, but that's nothing to say that that's not going to become more common. You know, where shops, just, just, like, shops will just hand out fucking PMA bottles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is you won't be able to provide it in the box with the product. Yeah. Why sure. not? Why not? You can say it's a free gift inside the product. I think because you're you're incentivizing the customer to package it. Yeah, it's just basically associating that product with the bottle, if you know what I mean. It's like a, it's like an association. Guilt, guilty by assumption. Whatever. In the same way that your Nick shot's not allowed to be in the same box as, as, your, 50 mil, as your 50 mils. Yeah, there you go. Reusable vape flask. Well, you know, for everybody out there, there's the Easy Drip, which is actually uh, hasn't been used for a long time. I mean, there's, there's fucking loads of ways around the convenience issue, so I don't really know why we're all so, so upset about it. The actual convenience issue isn't a problem. The cost issue is the problem. Mm. But you know, I know, I I know we're going to be selling our sixty mils for six quid. Your fifty mils. Our, our, yeah, sorry, our, our 50 mils with a free gift of a nick shot for six quid. And then it's two for a tenner, and then it's a fiver there on in. So three for 15, four for 20, blah, 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 blah. Which is exactly the same model as our 120 for 999. Ten quid, yeah. 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 Um, but, I mean, we don't hide the fact they are they are single shot concentrates. They, they're not blended in any way. They're not, they're not fucking, you know, it hasn't been sapped through coal mines of fucking Wales and Nadia. floated down a stream in Scotland. They, they are just single. There's single not even shot. any sweetener or anything in them, is there? No, nope, there's, there's just absolutely nothing but a single shot, some VG, PG, and that's it. You know, we, we don't hide that fact. People come in and they ask us how we can do it so cheap, and we, we explain. We explain. You, you either like it or you don't. You know, yeah. you, do you want to spend money on a premium juice, which we fully encourage, and we fully try and sell above the skimpy stuff, or have you got a tenner to last you two weeks till fucking payday? Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And it has been 
really successful. I keep a bit of skinted around the room as a fucking emergency juice. It's handy to have about. It is, and it, it, it was it was never put out there to be this totally amazing banging juice. It was put out there just to see people buy for two weeks because we used to have people coming in the shop and pretty much daily saying, what have you got for a tenner? Or, I'm a bit skint till payday. And it's filled that gap in the market. And we haven't seen any sort of decrease in sales along the other juice lines. You see, Proof does that for us. What have you got for a tenner? And I think that's about our only, other than Vampire Vape, that's our only 30 mil at a tenner. It fills that hole in the market, Proof. And it's a, it's, it's a decent juice. But yeah, oh, we've waffled enough. It's fucking half past nine. Nice. Yeah, there you go. I quite like the skin so far. Want to try all? Well, there's going to be a lot more flavours coming out as well. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, right. Let's fucking uh, let's let's skimmy be done. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. It's been a, a delightful show. Thank you for turning up, Dolan. Anytime. I'll be on time next week. Yeah. Anytime or every time. Well, most of the time. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Thomas, you've been uh, worthwhile Thank having you on. Yeah, and uh, Stuart, right, we're going to go. See you later. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> go on, fucking funny hands. Thank you very much for watching.